welcome back guys uh, in this video I'm going to show you how you can add more and more column without deleting previous data here you can see we have a table here users table in our project and we have you know data user data let's say I don't want to delete them but I want to add a column and that column name will be let's say user type here you can see there is no user type so how can actually I know that which one is admin which one is normal user right so here I'm going to add more column now let's go to the code editor at first uh, let me remove this so I'm going to remove this and now at first I have to actually go for the database and then migration here you can see this is the user table so we cannot actually add here a column and then we'll, we can actually say here that PHP artisan migrate why because this is not allowed in you know uh, uh, Laravel okay so it will actually show that nothing to migrate let me show you if I say here table string let's say user type I'll say user type and the default one the EFEULT default one let's say should be user now if I go for the migration it will show me nothing to migrate I'll say PHP artisan migrate here I can see nothing to migrate so why it's happening because so what I have to do you have to actually cut it from here now we have to actually create another migration file so let's go to the terminal once again new terminal and here you have to say php artisan make colon migration then you have to say that uh, add underscore the column name let's say I want to add a column name and the column name will be let's say user underscore type so this is the column name and then I have to say two and then which table we have users table for this and then we have to say hyphen hyphen table sorry table is equal to we have to say users press enter and here you can see we have created a migration file for the users table so if I go there here you can see this is for the users table so we just have to actually mention here the column name and now you can actually add more and more column here so here you can see user type and this is the uh, default user right I mean if I now migrate it it will actually add user type but it will add this column at the end of the table here you can see I mean after the update add now let's see you don't want to actually add it here you want it uh, to add after you know let's say email let's say okay so or let's say name so how you can actually do this you have to actually mention here that uh, after okay that uh, after which column actually you want to add it so I'll say after but before that you have to actually add here arrow sign and then after and here you have to actually mention the column name and the column name uh, we have to actually find it from here you can see email okay uh, let's say I want to actually show after name so I'll say name so we have added a string here uh, a column string type user type the uh, you know column name will be user type then it will be actually after I mean it will be added after the name column and then the default value should be user I mean all of the user they will actually register themselves as user when they actually want to go for the register here you can see we have register if I click on here and if I register uh, let's say any user they will actually uh, add themselves as normal user okay then we'll actually change admin or other user type from the database so our login system or registration system will actually by default add every single user as normal user okay so now what you have to do you have to actually go for the terminal and then you have to say migrate so php artisan migrate press enter done now if i go there the database and if i refresh now here you can see user type we have and the default one is user now we can actually add one more user let's say i want to add yamin as admin so i will say yamin at gmail.com password let's say 2468 2468 register and uh, now if i go to the database we have added one more user now from here actually we can change the user type to admin let's say so guys now you can see we have user and admin uh, we have two type but we have uh, you know same dashboard if I log out let's say I want to log in as Yamin or let's say a normal user so I'll say two four six eight login so I'm a normal user yes it's a normal dashboard for me 
now let's say i want to log out now let's say i want to add uh, as i mean i want to log in as yeah i mean let's say our admin i'll say two four six eight so login here you can see this is also a dashboard so uh, i mean it shouldn't be like this right we should have you know separate dashboard for admin and for the user so you know next video i'm going to actually create separate dashboard for the admin and for the normal user okay so that's it thank you so much for watching